this off the coast right now, but we're getting new reports here and we're getting a lot more seismic activity and we can't hear it now. Let's see if we can get a little closer to that. Yeah. Oh my god. Jesus. Yeah, 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 we got him, we got him. Go, 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 go! Alright, okay, 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 he's making landfall. We gotta get him closer, I can't see his face. Alright, alright, we're just about there. Hey guys, Tony here from Cry Havoc. So, it's finally happened. The end of an era. NECA is stopping production on the Pacific Rim line. And its final efforts give us two of the most quality figures I've seen. Gypsy Danger and the epically awesome Hardship from the novel series. And while they didn't fight in the book series, or book series, I thought it would be kind of cool to give you guys a little taste of what it would have been like. But without further ado, let's get into it. So, detail. Again, NECA, known for their quality sculpts, knocked it out of the park. The paint apps on Gypsy alone are just striking. Every bit of movie detail, every weapon shine, everything on this beauty just sticks out. It's got that luster, that polish, that sheen, that rust, and that lovely little mechanical eye in the center just dusts it off, making it the perfect addition. As for Hardship, I gotta admit, he is scary awesome. It's got that right touch of slime and paint app decal, and while the paint's a little finicky on the nails and stuff, I gotta admit, taking a look at this brute up close and personal is something that is just truly awe-inspiring, even if he's a remold of Mood of War from earlier in the year. Alright, time to talk scale. So... Mudavor here stands at a proud 14 inches tall, from head to fin, and he's actually boasting that he can stand on his own two feet, unlike Mudavor, which had to use his stand, even though he was still pretty impressive. As for Gypsy, he stands at about 9 inches, taller than your average figure, and just about the same height for all other Jaegers, and matches with scale in movie continuity. Pretty awesome. All right, time to talk articulation. So, for this one, we're going to have two sets of arms. We're going to have the normal cannon arm and then the normal flex arm. So, for the cannon arm, we got some pretty good rotation there. Goes up, goes down, got a bend joint. It's also got a nice swivel on the bicep. A lot of the older Jaegers missed that feature. And then, we've got the head joint here, which goes right to left, up, down. Pretty decent articulation. As for the standard arm joint, great round. It's got a butterfly joint, actually, meaning you can do a hip into move. And then it's got all the benefits of the normal Jaeger hands, plus the added articulation for it, plus the extra slots for the extra weapons and such. He's also got a great swivel on his chest portion here, and he's got a great turning mechanism, making him great for those final poses. But the biggest selling point of this model is the LED chest light. Look at that lovely glow and it is pretty bright and awesome. As for leg articulation, we've got the standard double jointed knee. Awesome, but it did lack in a lot of Jaegers. We've got some good bulb joints, and we've also got a double jointed toe, which I'm actually really impressed with. So they gave us some extra movement for posing and holding. He's also got a side swivel and a ball joint for his hip, as well as an inserted joint, giving a great weight and posterity for him to move and bend, which is awesome. Now on to Hardship, this monster as I'm waving him down. He is really intimidating, and thankfully, even though he's very top-heavy, he's got a great sense of scale about him, and he's got great weight, so he won't fall down easily. 
As we look for the head, he's got two poseable mandibles and a ball joint, which is great for posing and making him roar, like I showed in the animation. His head's got a great side-to-side -side swivel that's featured in Mood of War. And then he's got a great up and down motion too that's available that was a little bit more harder to get out of Muta War, which was pretty cool if they had him made it more detailed in this figure. As for the arm, exact carbon copy of Muta Wars, up and down, swivel, bend at the forearm rather than the elbow, and then we've got his prodigious claws with a symbol bend. We've also got the Alien Queen mini arms at the bottom here. They got a swivel ball joint and a bend, so that's pretty cool. And then finally, oh, little jaw there, gotta fix that. His main feature, though, is his brand new Capris, which is pretty awesome. Kind of Gamera inspire with a splash of schooner and uh, knife head, which I really like that they made a new one for this figure. Finally, he has little toes, tiny but fierce. They are great for posing and great for standing up. And then finally, we've got a little bit more swivel articulation in the body than is expected, like in Mudavor. Again, this guy's meant to stand up. And now, on to accessories. Gypsy is pretty intimidating here. He's got pretty much two of everything. He's got two cannons, one reactor blaster, two chain swords, two open hands, two regular hands, and two closed fists. Pretty much the ultimate figure, like we were promised in the box. I pretty much love what they did here, giving everything every other figure featured. The same, though, cannot be said of uh, Hardship, which only gets a stand like Mudavor. It's kind of sucky that all we get for this final figure is just a uh, stand, but, you know, better than nothing. And uh, considering how big the figure is, I'm really happy with what we got. And the stand's a pretty nice addition in case you want to have him in, like, a swimming position. I gotta say, finally, that, you know, as a way to go out with two figures, I'm really, really happy they decided to use these two. You know, one from the cinematic universe, the ultimate figure of the main character, and then one from the uh, book universe that we never really got to see, just inferred upon. You know, yes, it's a recycled model for all of them, but what, what they did was pretty outstanding and pretty cool. Also, their prices are pretty awesome, sitting at about 50 and 20 respectively, and a little bit lower, too, depending on sale. Finally, we have some final size comparisons. Here's Mudavor and Hardship standing together. Again, you can see Mudavor can only bend down. A little annoying, but still looks cool. And then I threw Gypsy in here just for the sake of point of reference, so we had something to look at Jaeger-wise, and you can see that they are pretty on par in tail and skin, tact and size. As for another figure in the neck line, I've got Hardship here standing next to the Alien 3 Dog Alien, which is pretty cool. You know, much more bulkier, bigger, and it's got a little bit more height. And then we got Gypsy here standing next to the Ultimate Striker Eureka, the Thunder Down Under. Love him a lot. Pretty cool. And you can see Gypsy stands a little bit taller than Striker. And then finally, I got Gypsy standing next to Kratos' neck of God of War line, which is also pretty awesome, and he's also a little bit taller too, which is cool to see that they kind of kept it in line with anatomy and tight. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video, and if you did like it, always remember to leave a like, subscribe, and please share the video so we can continue to grow. Well, that's going to be it for this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye